Right guys, Gaffs, Gaffs is back again, like the phoenix rising from the ashes, eh Mikaro? Anyway, um, yeah, there was no warning of what was about to happen. I woke up in the morning and, oh, it's gone with an email telling me why it had gone. Thank you, a certain person. But like good old Gaffer fashion, I'm back again. So guys, I would appreciate it if you could just put a link into any comment that you send to any other channel, just letting people know I'm back up and running. Now this is an original idea. This is called Gone. Yes, you know who you are. Finally, I'm going to do the performance and a reveal straight away. So I'm going to start out by taking out the two jokers because they're going to help me out in a minute. And Spectator's got a completely free choice of any card. So we'll give these a shuffle. Spectator's got free choice of any card, so let's say they have this one. So we have the two jokers and a mystery card, which in this case is a fantastic ace of clubs. We're going to take the ace and we're going to place it between the two jokers. And you can clearly see the ace is between the two jokers. We're going to close it up, we're going to give it a little shake. And your ace is still there, because these are the two jokers. But I'm going to do some magic. I'm going to make the ace vanish. The ace is going to be gone. Watch. Do you see it? How about now? You still see it? But I did say that would be gone, didn't I? So that is gone. These are the two jokers. But to return your card, we placed a gone card between the two jokers. You can clearly see it is between the two jokers. We're going to square it all up and give it a little shake. And once again, We'll place your card on the table, the Ace of Clubs. So that is the trick guys, I'm going to show you exactly how that trick works straight away. You are going to need some roughing balm. This is not going to work with double stick tape and this is not going to work with roughing spray unless you are going to spray every single card in this deck. You could do this with roughing spray if you were going to force a particular card, but it's a much better effect if you can give spectator free choice of any card. I mean, you could have said to the spectator, just pick one from a face up pack, it makes no difference. All right, how does the trick work? It does use three cards. So you've got a joker, the gong card, and another joker. Right, this first joker is gonna have roughing balm, across the top half of the face of the card. There will be nothing on the gong card, and on this other joker, you will roughing balm the bottom half of the back of the card. So it's the top half of the face, nothing, bottom half of the back. The cards will go um, face up joker, roughing balm, the gong card, face up joker, roughing balm on the bottom. They will stay together, so when you spread from the bottom, the gone card will be hidden. When you spread from the top, you will reveal the gone card. So how the trick is going to work, you can place these jokers back into the pack, but because the one joker has roughing balm on the face, you need the two jokers together. You could have the, the roughing balm face joker on the top, but if it was in the deck on its own, it would stick to another card, so that wouldn't work. So I've just got them together. So I'm going to go through and take out the two jokers, but I'm going to spread from the bottom half of the deck so that when I find the two jokers, they will, because there's roughing balm on the back of this one, it will hide the gone card. So you can place these onto the table. You could show these to be two jokers spreading from the bottom. Square them up, put them on the table, and then get Spectator to shuffle these cards or just get them to pick a face-up card. Any card you like, let's say they have the Ten of Diamonds. You'll pick up your gone card, your jokers, and you'll spread from the bottom to show two jokers. You'll square everything up. You're gonna spread from the top now and say you're gonna place your card between the two jokers. So you'll place it between, square everything up, and you can show it is between the two jokers. They know this is a joker, they've just seen it. Square everything up, give it a little magical wave, and now spread from the bottom. Pull out what they think is their card place it on the table. You can turn these over and spread from the bottom to show two jokers. You could even put them on the table, spread like that to show the two jokers and reveal their card to be gone. Right, just square this packet up, turn it over. You can show again the two jokers.
but when you square it up again you're going to spread from the top now that spread a bit spread from the top place their gong card back in the middle show them the gong cards between the two jokers square it all up give it a little shake now spread again from the bottom pulling out what they think is the gong card you can show these immediately as to be two jokers you can turn them over and spread them if you apply a little bit of pressure as you push across and reveal their card to have returned so that's how i did it guys roughing balm on the top of one joker your mystery card this can be any card i've just written gone on a blank card and roughing balm on the bottom it's all about spreading from the bottom we'll hide the gong card spreading from the top we will reveal the gong card so if you spread from the top to place their card in you're going to be in this position when you spread from the bottom you will reveal the gong card if you spread from the top you will reveal their card but the gong card will be visible so when you've got it this way around just be careful oh i've lost it now where's my card gone oh god i've lost it where is it gaffer it's there so that's how i did it guys it's a good old neo inception roughing balm a blank card with a message written on it you could write anything on that just use your imagination and that's it there will be um, in description there will be google search terms for all the items i use the roughing balm the magnets um, the invisible elastic thread and again i will put all the gimmick card tricks into a playlist so that you guys can find them easy so like i say if you could um, just put a link to my channel in a comment you make to another person's channel that would be brilliant and just spread the word so that is Gaffs Gaffs. This is an original idea called Gone. Comment, subscribe, like, guys, for more reveals. Cheers.